Welcome to the Roast of Mr. Peanut. And now your Roast Master, Jeff Ross. It's the Mr. Peanut Roast. Let's get cracking. I'll make this quick, Mr. Peanut. I know you got some brownies to ruin. <laughs> Seriously, thank you for taking a break from hiding under my couch cushions to be here. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Peanut, I'm a big fan. I love your work in Thai food. <laughs> and without you, Jelly wouldn't even have a career. Am I right, folks? <laughs> Jelly would still be overseas working with English muffins if it wasn't for this guy. <laughs> Anyway, how's the family? Still nuts? <laughs> Mr. Peanut, I know you'll be at the after party because you're on the guest list and the menu. Who's hungry? <laughs> Hit it, band. What a legacy, Mr. Peanut. You helped fill empty bellies during the Great Depression. Your image inspired our nation during World War II. And even today, peanuts provide valuable protein that helps keep vegetarians from passing out. <laughs> So what can I say? I love you. And whenever there's no pretzels or popcorn chips, wasabi peas, cupcakes, or ice cream, you're my snack. Long live Mr. Peanut. <laughs> Tonight is special, because we get to hang out with a four-foot nut. Here she is, Natasha Legero. I just want to say, this is the first roast dais I've been on where there are more women than men. Yes, a roast of a peanut. These are the opportunities we get. My friend Atsuko's here. Atsuko, I like that you dressed up for this, and I'm looking forward to whatever real estate opportunity you definitely have for me tonight. <laughs> I know, I look like a chandelier going through a divorce. <laughs> Yamanika's here. I am such a fan, although she doesn't know my name. Backstage, she just kept saying, out of my way, Karen. <laughs> Mr. Peanut is 106 years old. Why are you dressed like it's five recessions ago? <laughs> I like that you need corrective vision and you don't even have ears. <laughs> You've been around since 1916. You have been selling peanuts longer than women have been allowed to vote. I mean, it really lets you know about men's priorities. Talking peanut, absolutely. Women voting, I'm just not ready. <laughs> but you know what? You're a legend. And I wanna say thank you. There are moments in one's career, milestones, that let you know it's going well. And roasting you is not one of them. Thank you. Mr. Peanut was born in 1916, which is how much our next comedian makes an hour as a doorman at a comedy club around the corner. <laughs> Give it up for my pal, Frank Castillo! <laughs> Thank you, buddy. One more time, let him hear it. Jeff Ross. The man that proves that you don't have to be a peanut to look like one. <laughs> the main difference between Jeff and a peanut is that peanuts are made of healthy fats. <laughs> so excited to see Natasha. But if she's here, who's getting outsmarted by all those Dalmatians? <laughs> You know, Planner's Peanuts are a lot like any movie Jeff Ross is in. Free on airplanes. <laughs> and now the man of the hour, Mr. Peanut. I think we can all agree there's rich, and then there's haven't worn pants in a hundred years rich. <laughs> Mr. Peanut, what are you wearing? Why do you always look like you came from a jazz recital? Mr. Peanut, it's been fun roasting you, but I do have to get serious. I don't want to say your wife cheats on you, but your son is an almond. Thank you very much. Give it up for the amazing Yamanika! Well, hello. Mm, you are kind of cute. <laughs> Uh, what an honor it is to be a part of the roast of Mr. Peanut. 
I love the diversity on this dais. Yes, yes. You have an Asian, some African Americans, and whatever Frank Castillo is. <laughs> Azuko, I'm really surprised to see you here. This is a roast of people who like nuts, not people who look nuts. <laughs> Honestly, Mr. Pina, I thought you would have had a more star-studded dais. Like, this is a who's who of who's who? <laughs> now to the man of the hour, Mr. Pina. Mm, yeah. Mr. Peanut, you look like a cashew with low self-esteem. <laughs> a lot of people complain that you don't wear pants. But trust me, I've taken a look down there and he don't need them. <laughs> Mr. Peanut, you are gonna love our next roaster because her hair looks like a bowl that you would fill with peanuts. <laughs> Please welcome the hilarious Otsuko Okatsuka! Thank you, oh my goodness. Hi, everyone. Hey, it's me. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is an honor to stand before you today, an immigrant, uh, the first person in her family to go to a college in the United States, and now roasting a peanut. <laughs> So great. No, my family made big sacrifices, okay, to make sure I made it here today. So thank God they don't have the internet. <laughs> no, but Mr. Peanut, it is an honor, you know. Uh, without you here, this would have looked like some regular old event. Uh, but now we look like a murder mystery dinner theater. Oh, who's the killer? <laughs> Probably the guy with white gloves on and a monocle like he's a jeweler. <laughs> Jeff Ross looks like someone's attempt to draw Mr. Peanut from memory. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, I appreciate you taking all these jokes and not being salty about it. Mr. Peanut, what do you eat at parties? People? <laughs> you would think that at 106 years old, you would have upgraded to glasses, right? I mean, that thing can't be easy to keep stuck to your face. What do you use? Peanut butter? <laughs> hey, all right, okay, I'm done, okay? <laughs> Thank you to Peanuts. You really do bring us all together by paying everybody to be here. <laughs> Mr. Peanut, you'll love our next roaster because his hair makes him look like an acorn. <laughs> <laughs> here, deep from the heart attack of Texas, it's David Lucas! <laughs> Jeff Ross, thank yeah. you, man, thank you, man. <laughs> Sarah T. Animated, everyone. Congratulations to her. Sarah is a Georgia peach, and just like a Georgia peach, she gets ignored at the grocery stores. <laughs> uh, Osco is here. If you're a fan of her comedy, then you might be a fan of things like paper cuts and diarrhea. <laughs> wow. I will say, uh, I love you, Mr. Peanut. You're like one of my own children. In fact, you're the middle child of snacks. <laughs> People only remember they love you when someone reminds them. <laughs> Thank you and good night. Appreciate What better way to roast a peanut than with a Georgia peach? They call her the mouth of the south, the bell of the ball busters, my friend, Sarah Tiana. <laughs> Mr. Peanut, I, I know it can be painful to come out of your shell. <laughs> You're so cute for a thing that squirrels bury and then forget about. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. I'm always happy to be around a man that didn't talk for most of his life. <laughs> Natasha Legero's here, everybody. Natasha's actually not here for a roast. She just heard there was gonna be a 106-year-old man with money in the building, and she showed up. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm from Georgia and our biggest export is peanuts. Our second biggest export is championships to New England. <laughs> Mr. Peanut looks like the star of the kind of film I'd like to see Jeff in. Silent. <laughs> 106 and still driving. Let me guess how you got here. 10 miles below the speed limit and with your blinker on the whole way. Please welcome the biggest legume in the room, my brother from a butter nutter. It's Mr. Peanut! Yeah. Wow. That was brutal. I wish planners had just killed me off again. <laughs> no one's ever roasted a peanut like this before. I mean, who was in charge of casting? Were all the famous people booked? <laughs> all jokes aside, tonight you've really made this peanut feel loved. Quite a lot worse about myself, but loved. <laughs> and a lot of people ask me why I agreed to do this. But as so many of you pointed out, I'm 106 years old. It was either this or run for president. <laughs> Oh, and one last thing. There's been a lot of talk tonight about why I don't wear pants, so let me clear something up. It's because I'm rich. <laughs> In nutrients. <laughs> so, to everyone here on stage tonight, eat me. <laughs> Seriously. Thank you, everyone, and good night. <laughs>